I've got a right bulbous head today. Hello everybody and welcome to my window. If you watched my previous video, you will know that I have moved house. So I'm no longer in my bedroom. This also means that I have a place with very minimal... It's the car! I also have a place with very minimal furniture. So everything is kind of echoey. So I do apologize for that. And once I get more things in here, I'm sure it will sound great. As I've moved, it means that I get to do a lot of fun shopping that I don't normally get to do. And that is for homes and interiors things. Now, I know that not all of you watching this will be moving house, but I also think it's quite nice to give different ideas for things that you can put in your bedroom or storage ideas. Or, you know, if you're just a bit nosy like me and you like to see what people buy for their house, then you might enjoy this. So this first thing was a bit of a impulse buy, which I don't normally do. Jokes, I always do that. And it is a waffle maker. I've got, oh, I'm dropping it. I thought this looked really cute. It's like a baby pink color. And I just thought it's a nice thing to do if you have people round or you want something a bit different. They've got it with fruit and melted chocolate, which I thought was really nice. And because they're in little sticks, you can dip them in things. So you can use them as like little fondue dippers. Um, so I just thought that looked really cute and it looks super easy to make. You literally just pour the batter in. Waffle, waffles. The next couple of things I got in HomeSense. Now HomeSense is essentially like a TK Maxx or TJ Maxx if you're in the US. It's just the home section. So it's lots of discounted things for you to buy um, for your home. I saw this first of all, which is a clear glass jar with a screw top and it has a little heart on it. It's kind of sticking out a bit and it's just a really nice sort of like medium size. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna put in these, but I would love your suggestions because I want to put these either in the bathroom or in the kitchen um, to, you know, store things. Um, I was thinking like baking ingredients, so you could have like flour, sugar, or something along those lines. Or I was thinking to fill it full of my favorite sweets so that anytime anyone comes around, they can just help themselves to some sweeties. These were a bargain. This was $4.99. You could even use this in your bedroom, I think, and store like your cotton wool pads or, you know, nail polishes, anything. Lipsticks you can all go in there. And I then spotted the daddy version. This is just a bit bigger, um, so I can put things in this one too, and this was only $6.99. You can also use them as drums. You can tell I've never played the drums before. I also found this awesome one, which I've already decided what I want to do with it. Again, I think this would be awesome for nail polishes. I just think it would look amazing with all the different colors in it. But I'm gonna use this in my kitchen, and I'm gonna keep my cereal in it because don't you think having it in something like this just will look so much nicer than just like the big colourful box? And guess what cereal I want to put in this? Yes, you guessed right, Lucky Charms. I just think they'll look so cool in this clear thing in, on my kitchen table or something, I don't know. And then, just, and then I can eat them all and that will be great. This was $6.99 again, so complete bargain. I also then went into a different home sense because obviously they have different ones everywhere. And I found baby ones, which are super cute. And in these ones, I'm going to have tea bags and sugar. This next thing is from a shop called Lakeland, which has awesome uh, baking stuff in it. If you like to bake cakes, you should check out that shop because it's like walking into baking heaven. It's just everything you would ever need to make anything, basically. Um, I picked up these milk bottles. Now, I'm not really too sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I just thought they looked so cute. Do you know what I did think? I did think maybe in the summer I can make fresh lemonade or I can make smoothies and then put them into this and then keep them in the fridge. I can already hear my dad laughing at me from all the way back in Blumen, Wiltshire, but I'm going to try and keep cool things. Or just put milk in there. I don't know. I just liked them because they were like old school milk bottles. And they're glass too. There seems to be... A lot of glass so far. More glass! <laughs> I'm not really too sure why I'm showing these. This could be totally boring, but these are from John Lewis. I am quite selective with drinking glasses. I like them to be a little bit unique and quite quirky. 
So in John Lewis, I found these, which is made from 100% recycled glass, which I thought was quite cool. And they just have a little stamp on there that says authentic 100% recycled glass. And they're just really nice and thick. And I just really liked those. So I got six of those, you know, for when you want to drink. I also got a tumbler. <laughs> I think that's what they're called. I'm just going to use this to keep drinking. Maybe some fresh lemonade or a smoothie. It's never going to happen, is it? Also from John Lewis, I picked up these really cute mugs with... I don't know if they're dogs or foxes on them. It doesn't say. But there's a yellow one with a grey dog fox and a navy blue one with a white dog fox. A mushroomy beige and a light blue and I just thought they were quite cute. Dog foxes. I think they are a fox. I think that is a fox, just to clarify. The next thing I picked up is for my bathroom and it was also from HomeSense and it was $4.99 and it's just this, it says Apothecary Natural Remedy Specialists London Westminster W1 and it has like a divide in the middle and I just thought that would be quite nice to put toothbrushes in um, or makeup brushes so I thought that was quite quirky and cute. These were also from Lakeland and I'm not really too sure why I picked these up. I think it was possibly because I thought they were a bit too cute just to leave. And they are stainless steel birdie spoons. <laughs> um, basically, you know when you have a hot chocolate and you sort of just want to mix it around every now and then so it doesn't settle on the bottom? These are like the perfect spoons to do that. And the bird balances on the edge of the cup so you'll never lose your spoon. Ah, birdie spoons. Went into Asda. And as I was doing my general shop, just for like food and washing up products, I picked up this One Direction singing toothbrush because I've never seen anything like it before. And I've decided I'm gonna put this in the bathroom. And when guests come to stay, I say guests, I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be a communal toothbrush because that would be pretty disgusting. The first person that gets to come and stay with me can have this as their guest toothbrush. Next thing I picked up was this porcelain heart nibble bowl from Asda. Um, I just think things like this are quite handy to have if you've got like people coming over or you like to snack a lot like I do. If you're a bit of a grazer, um, then you can put, you know, chocolate in this one, sweets in this one, and um, sweets in this one. <laughs> or if you want to be healthy, nuts, peas, and nuts. Why have they got peas? Next thing is a to-do list, which I always need because I'm really unorganised. And now that I have moved out, I want to be super organised and have everything in order. So I decided to buy this. It's an Emma Bridgewater. Um, note sketchbook thing and it says this week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then a little box that says uh, tick when completed so it's like a little tick box and I'm going to make a list of all the things I need to do and when I've done them I'm going to tick off the day and make sure I've done them all uh, I don't know how long this is going to last for or if I'm going to keep up with it but I'm going to give it a good damn try this next thing is also from HomeSense and it is a little egg tray with hearts. Are you an eggs in the fridge person or an eggs out of the fridge person? That's the question that I would like to know the answer to because everyone has a different thing. Like some people put ketchup in the fridge and some people ke put ketchup in the cupboard. Anyway, this was really cute and this was 6 99 and I'm just gonna put my eggs in that. This last thing is a colander. Yay! Everyone needs a colander. So those are just a few of the little bits and pieces that I've bought over the last couple of weeks to put in my new place. Um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. I really love watching what people buy to put in their houses and I don't think there's enough videos like this. Trust me, I've tried to watch all of them to gain inspiration um, and I've run out now. So um, I hope that's given you a few ideas for your bedroom or storage ideas or if you're a moving house, it has given you, I don't know, some good places to shop to buy some stuff. Thanks so much for watching guys, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you like my new setting and I will see you very soon, bye! A lot of shit, Alfie's, Alfie's doing a little like this walk behind the camera, like a dino. Sticking with, there's another siren. 
I'll see all the bad people have escaped from prison. You're the bad person who escaped from prison. No. Dog boxes. <laughs> Dog boxes. <laughs> You're right there, Alfie. Uh -huh. Fight five nine four ninety nine. But I thought I would show you anyway. There's a wee bit of dust floating up past my face. 